Hello data pros, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Snowflake learning series. In our previous video, we've covered Snowflake streams and demonstrated their role in change data capture. Today, we will explore Snowflake tasks, which are essential for automating a variety of data processes within Snowflake. So, what exactly are Snowflake tasks? In simple terms, a task is a way to schedule and run SQL statements automatically. You can think of it as a scheduler for your Snowflake environment. You can also link multiple tasks together to run in a specific sequence. Tasks help you automate recurring processes, ensuring your data workflows run smoothly without manual intervention. Let's jump into the UI and explore how to create tasks in Snowflake. I've already set up some foundational objects required for this lab. Shifting our focus to task creation, first, you need to define what you want your task to do. This could be anything from loading data into a table, transforming data, or even calling a stored procedure. Next, you'll define the schedule or interval at which you want this task to execute. As you can see, the schedule can be set using a cron expression, which gives you more flexibility in terms of timing. Optionally, you can specify exactly which warehouse to use for running the task. Depending on whether you include the warehouse parameter or not, tasks are classified as either user-managed or serverless. If you include the warehouse parameter, it's considered a user-managed task, meaning it will execute on the warehouse you've defined. If you skip the warehouse parameter, it becomes a serverless task, and Snowflake will automatically allocate the necessary compute resources. Both approaches have their own pros and cons. Serverless compute is roughly 1.5 times more expensive than the user-managed warehouse. However, please be aware that the user-managed warehouses are fully charged for the first minute, even if you use them for just a few seconds. After that initial minute, you're billed on a per-second basis. On the other hand, serverless compute is billed per second right from the start. For this reason, short and frequently executed tasks, particularly those running for less than 40 seconds, are often recommended to be created as serverless tasks. Since users select the warehouse size for user-managed tasks, there's a chance they might choose an inappropriate size. With serverless tasks, Snowflake automatically picks the optimal warehouse size for you. Additionally, serverless tasks are ideal for time-critical tasks with strict SLA requirements because they're dedicated solely to the task at hand. In contrast, user-managed warehouses might handle other workloads as well, which could lead to wait times and delays. Now, let's run this to create the task. Once the task is created, it will be in a suspended state by default. You should enable it using the alter task resume statement. One of the powerful features of Snowflake tasks is that they can be chained together. This means you can create complex workflows by linking multiple tasks. For instance, you might have a task that loads data from an external stage to a table, followed by another task that transforms the data, and a third task that sends email notifications. Each task can be set to start only after the previous task is completed successfully, ensuring a smooth and reliable workflow. To chain tasks, you use the after clause in the create task statement. This is a basic workflow created for our understanding, but there's still room for improvement. For instance, you can add a check to see if the stream has data. This way, the warehouse will only start if there's data to process, potentially leading to significant cost savings. The same workflow can be redesigned by creating external tables on top of the stage and setting up cloud file notifications. The code for this approach is available in the video description, so feel free to check it out if you're interested. Snowflake tasks also offer robust monitoring and error handling capabilities. You can monitor the status of your tasks using the Snowflake UI as well as SQL commands, making it easy to manage and troubleshoot any issues that arise. If a task fails, you can set it to retry automatically. Overall, tasks are a powerful tool for automating and streamlining your workflows in Snowflake. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more advanced Snowflake features. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest technologies. Thanks for watching.